Eamon Holmes offended people across the country when he compared co-worker Dr. Zoe Williams' afro hair to an alpaca's and said he wanted to pet it. Express.co.uk asked readers whether they think the presenter should be fired from ITV's This Morning for his comments. After discussing the fate of Geronimo the alpaca, which faces being killed after testing positive for bovine tuberculosis, Eamon said to Dr. Williams, your hair reminds me of an alpaca today. You just want to pet it don't you? It's very alpaca-ish. Immediately after he made the comments to Dr. Williams, hundreds of people took to social media to voice their outrage, with some even calling for Eamon to be sacked. One user tweeted, it's comments like that which allow racism to carry on. Another added, black women constantly get comments on their hair and frequently strangers thinking it appropriate to comment or even touch it because the texture is different from Caucasian hair. Black women are understandably sick of it. The majority of Express.co.uk readers, 87%, thought Eamon should not be fired. The poll saw 11,256 votes cast between 2.30 p.m. August 12 and 3.30 p.m. August 13, but many readers said his comments were clumsy and careless. One reader remarked, he needs to engage his brain before his mouth. You don't comment on a woman's hair in that way, it's not appropriate. Another added, no woman wants to hear such comments about her hair, even if they're just meant to be teasing and light-hearted. It was mean-spirited. A few hours after the comments were made, he tweeted, If my attempt at being humorous with my friend at DR Zoe Williams was misjudged I am mortified and humbly apologize to anyone who was offended. Dr. Zoe Williams appeared to laugh at the comments during the live broadcast but responded with an abrupt tone and said, Don't touch my hair, whilst pointing down the camera when he said he wanted to pet it. She released a statement on Instagram today which read, I know that many people have been upset by Eamon's remark. Eamon has acknowledged that his comments made to me on this morning were misjudged. He has done the right thing by apologizing to me directly, and I have accepted his apology. If that comment had been made to me by a stranger, then I too would have likely been offended. It's fair to say that both Eamon and I wish it hadn't been said. In a discussion over whether Mr. Holmes realized his comments came across as racist, a reader said, I think he knew what he was doing. Any Dumbo knows not to comment on black hair and compare it to a woolly animal. But other readers felt that his comments were just ignorant and not intended with any racist sentiment. A voter said, it wasnt meant to be nasty. It was a joke. Whilst another person thought it was an affectionate and innocent remark, no more than that. Someone advised that Eamon should head over to GB News. Others thought that ITV should get rid of him, because he's a terrible presenter.
When launching a campaign to stop Afro hair discrimination this year, Pantene claimed 93% of British black people have experienced microaggressions related to their Afro hair. The hair care brand said 52% say discrimination against their hair has negatively affected their self-esteem or mental health. Explaining more about the microaggressions black people face, Dr. Williams said, I've spent most of my life hearing comments about my hair from people who aren't my friend, often combined with an attempt to touch my hair and it has a very different impact. These comments can be called microaggressions and I'm sure people watching who've had similar experiences reacted to yesterday's comments just as if it had happened to them. Microaggressions are normally subtle comments made towards minority ethnic or culturally marginalized groups that communicate derogatory, hostile or condescending options. The comments can be made with or without malicious intent but nevertheless are offensive to the person they're directed at. She continued, many people with Afro-textured hair go to great lengths whether consciously or unconsciously to feel more accepted and or avoid comments, judging and touching. I straightened my hair for years trying to fit in before deciding to wear my hair naturally, but now my Afro is a part of my identity and I'm proud to show it off. You may be reading this and worrying that you have made inappropriate or hurtful comments. Perhaps you just didn't know. It's okay to get it wrong, we all do. What comes after the mistake is what matters most. If we care enough and are brave enough to do some deep, sometimes painful reflection and vow to make the necessary changes moving forwards then that is enough. Our society is in the process of change, much overdue change, for the better. It's a shame we have to experience these extremely difficult and uncomfortable situations but they are all part of the journey. Comments about a person's appearance, whether a reflection of race or other side are more subject to criticism than ever before, and there is no place for them in public forums. So, my ask, would be that people are open to trying to understand where this upset comes from in order to make the necessary changes for future generations. And to those who were offended, my ask is not to take all of your frustrations out on one person who made a genuine mistake, but to use this example in a positive way to highlight and educate so that we can progress.